Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Monday. It's Monday. And when we check on our economic calendar, we don't really have much. We don't really have much. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like share with your friends. So yes, we still have that discount. You will just post that uh, at the end of this video. So what's really happening? Uh, today, as I already mentioned, that we don't really have much on the economic side. On the economic side, economic events, we don't really have anything. So tomorrow is going to be the whole day of uh, PMIs. You can see from US, Britain, and Europe. So those are the economic news that we are going to have. Um, Wednesday, we have CPI from Australia. Thursday uh employment uh, unemployment claims or jobless claim from the us and on friday we have bank of japan policy rate or interest rate and then the most important one is going to be pce pce from the us which is going to be around half past two so at the moment we're not going to have anything which is aggressive maybe the market will try to slow down and do just to cool down a little bit right so it seems like the conflicts are are trying to cool off are trying to cool off but not actually cooled but things are now starting to go uh, to be quite slower which is good i don't think uh, or i don't really expect uh, some crazy like we don't really have some crazy conflicts this week but not like everything they settled everything something might happen but we have to understand that we have some issues going on or geopolitics so as i'm uh, updating you since uh, yesterday i did the weekly analysis you can go back and check that so this one is going to be sort of quick analysis so i will just try to be as quick as possible and we are on dxy dollar index we can easily see that it's still playing around here uh, this is our resistant area that we have we can see that oh it's struggling to break this area so slowly i think the market will end up going down and that is actually what might happen so but at the end of the day we're still on this uptrend so if the market reverses that will be fine it means that uh, we'll see other pairs cooling off but if it breaks this area it will be way much better so the best thing that we need is to see some of the economic news from the u.s cooling off because they've been hot but i saw that they uh, we're gonna have some earnings this month um or during the week or next week i will check that i did not really go through uh, that much but i think it's actually not some seriously bigger companies but we will check so on usdjpy we can easily see that we are still on that resistance so we are waiting for the market to break this level if the market breaks this level yes we are going to say yes let's continue with that buy but remember on friday we have bank of japan i'm expecting them to increase the rates so maybe we might see a nice reversal you see we might see some reversals so bank of japan might continue rising the rates but what we see here is we are still on that nice uptrend but currently we are on this nicer resistance so which means the market might break or maybe the market will continue consolidating here it's up to us to wait let's not actually hurry or rush the market let's just relax and maybe something will happen so euro jpy what's really happening quite straightforward structure not really different from what we saw on usdjpy you can easily see that yes we are on this nice uptrend structure but we already on this resistance so which means we are waiting for the market to break out or to respect this level whether the market will be breaking out of this resistance area going up or maybe the market will be going down and if the market is going to go down it means we are going to expect the market to respect this diagonal structure or maybe the outer one which is going to be our horizontal support before we see the market going up unless if maybe the market will end up breaking even lower but at the moment since we are on this nice uptrend we can see how the market moved so it means the market already tested this level several times so there is enough chance that the market can just break out 
Simple as that. So let's push to the next one, which is GBP, 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 uh, JPY. On GBP, JPY, I think at least the market did, uh, did reverse a little bit. So which means on this one, it can be a very a good idea for us to wait and see if maybe the market will be trying to reverse it seems like the market will be reversing then we can have a proper buy you can see the market actually is still res uh, respecting this diagonal structure there and it seems like it's going to uh, reverse let's go a little bit closer let's go closer and see you can see that so we have this area one two around this level so we can have a quick uh, buy there but sometimes the market might even reverse we can have something like that do you see that we can have something like that and it can work do you see that so let me just place this notification there so that i can have this uh, order somewhere there after this i will be sending that because it seems like the market is respecting our zone here it seems like the market doesn't really want to reach this level so we will wait for that and have a very nice trade as we are still on that uptrend remember I follow trends so it's called trend trading structure so which means I'm following the trends so Bitcoin still uh, trying to go up it was around this level yesterday so you can see that the momentum is no longer that strong but what we have here is I like the fact that the market tried to reverse around this sort of a support so which means the market is doing something like this do you see that and that it's uh, actually on a bigger structure a sort of a, a consolidation structure so it seems like a uh, bitcoin is now reversing going to uh, uh, to the upside obviously it's going towards that 7 uh, 70k or maybe it might end up breaking out but we have to say that this area uh, the market already showed us that it's a respect it's it's been respected so the market might reach this level and go down again simple as that right so let's push to the next one I saw gold it was a reversing I saw gold it was a reversing so we'll be going there so what's really happening on euro USD on euro USD we are still on that nice downtrend structure as I showed you uh, you can easily see that we are on that downtrend structure but where we are now it seems like the market will end up just consolidating but we're waiting for the market to do what to reverse or maybe the market will be going up up to that point and reversing after do you see that and then we just have to wait and see we just have to wait and see i don't think maybe there is much i don't think there is uh, enough uh, stuff so i don't know if i sent this or maybe i did this yesterday but i think if i did that is a good uh, structure there but i'll have to check if i did send that in the group if not i'll have to uh, update them about this because uh, it seems like this downtrend is about to continue going down we can see a nice breakout so which means the market might end up continuing on that sell but the bigger structure is we are on a downtrend that's why we follow that uh, trend that's why we we waiting for the market to break out this area and that's what i saw that's why i'm expecting to see the market continuing i'm expecting a continuation of that downtrend as we follow the trend gold whoa gold tried to reverse i think this is good so at the end of the day we will end up adjusting the structure but for now let's just wait and see but if you can check that nicely you can see that yes we are on this nice uptrend structure and this area you see that i think that makes sense you can see it's actually where the market it's a respect and so the market might bounce back there and start to push the upside so which means which means i need to actually send this in the group this can be a very nice uh, trade uh, going up this can be a very nice uh, buy uh, buy as the market is continuing with its structure so which means we will end up drawing our support like that but you can see this reversal is quite aggressive this is actually on a four hours time frame so i'm expecting the market to reach this level again right remember geopolitics are still actually on fire so which means yes we might still have this crazy moves i think i just need to send this now oh but it's fine let me just complete whatever that i'm doing then i will be sending those uh, signals so now we are on us 30 we, you can see that yes we are coming from a very 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 strong uptrend we started to have this downtrend it seems like the market is breaking out which means it's trying to change that downtrend 
Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. So you can see that we had an area here. So we'll just wait and see uh, the development of the structure here. If maybe the market wants to continue going up. But you can see that previously we had a nice structure saying that the market will be going down. But if you just check here, even though the market was going this, uh, going down, you can easily see that the market was quite aggressive. The volatility was like all over the place so we need to be extra careful when we take trades on this uh, pairs or this symbols right so we have to be extra careful so we just have to wait and see what will happen here if the market is changing this trend we then we want to follow that there's nothing wrong uh, if the market is changing the trend but uh, it shows us that even maybe Nasdaq might try to do the same thing. So on Nasdaq, you can easily see that, yes, the market was on this nice uptrend structure. But guess what? Uh, we can see that now the market is actually on this nice downtrend structure. So the market on Nasdaq did not really break any resistance at the moment. So we will see. So we did smash this one very nice. So we are waiting for something to happen then before we take any trade so if the market breaks out here it means that the market might be trying to change our trend but if it breaks this support area obviously this will be a continuation of that sell but with that us 30 trying to go up that shows that nasdaq might end up going even higher so on s p 500 you can easily see that yes s p 500 was going up uh, quite similar to us 30 and nasdaq but now you can see that we have a proper uh, downtrend structure we did smash on this one you can see the market was going down like that but now we are very close to this resistance so will the market break up it seems like that and then if it breaks out it means we're gonna look for that buy but not exactly there we might give ourselves a time for the market to reach that, that area then before we even think about selling or buying or doing anything actually but at the moment yes the structure is still under that resistance which means it is still under that uh, downtrend we are still thinking about uh, selling so us oil it was on a proper uptrend we had this aggressive uh, breakout and then we had a buy pending order but we can see that the market seems to be uh, going down for quite long but still on that support so actually it seems like the market might end up reversing i'm expecting that but it seems like the market is trying to test us here so let's just wait and see if maybe the market will be going up or not so please don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends so for those who wants to join the team i will place the pamphlet here so you can just let me know which uh, one do you want to join Yes, so here it's our prizes. If you want to join mentorship, it's you can see there you can scan the QR code. So just let me know if you want to be part of the team. That on that mentorship is no longer that 12 months. So it's actually a talk to me, then we can discuss about that. It's not actually 12 months of learning, so it's going to be mixed. Uh, so that you can actually learn very quick and start trading and i will be helping you to trade uh, so that you can be profitable if you want to join a mentorship so uh, the prices of uh, signals uh, packages are, are there then you can just let me know if you want to be part of the team so don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends bye